Okay, I've got quite a big grin on my face and I'm completely out of my depth here. Um, <clears throat> so, as you know, most of my fishing, pretty much all of my fishing is either uh, pike fishing or uh, on the River X. Um, and a couple of times last year, I went reservoir fishing um, and a friend of mine took me and I had great fun. Not a lot of success, it was a bad year last year um, because of the drought and the low water levels. Um, not many places were fishing that well, but I really enjoyed it. Yes! <laughs> oh. Well, I went for something big and black. Well, I say big and black, about half the size of yours. Yeah, do you know, I was thinking about it being silly and trying to dry because there's a little bit of um, movement, life on the surface. Yeah. Well, that, that's why I put that bug on, because it was on the top. And I thought, they eat a lot of terrestrials here, and uh, be beetles are one of them. Oh, oh yeah. Not working for me at the minute. <laughs> oh yes that was a very slow take I thought I was on the bottom Big and black, Adrian. For me, it is. <laughs> I don't know, tomorrow he's swimming towards me at the minute and... I've been a bit ginger after the last one. Sorry? I've been careful after that last one. Back on the surface again, Adrian. It's, it's every time the bloody sun goes, isn't it? What are you doing, man? The sun's in.
Do you were? I, <laughs> I just thought I'd been a bit too ginger with it. Not as big as yours. It'll get him in that. So today, <laughs> a little bit of water behind me. This is Wimbleball Reservoir on Exmoor. It's a big old water. Um, and I'm here, it's uh, just gone half past seven in the morning. Um, beautiful start to the day. Um, there's no fish rising yet. It's a little bit cool and a little bit early for that. There's, there's no, uh, insect life on the water to uh, bring the fish up but <laughs> what an amazing place um, as always I've not got a lot of kit with me uh, I don't like to carry a lot of kit the reason is that I can then keep moving right I'm gonna slowly set up and and see what happens right Let's do that. Right, let's give this a go. Right, as with um, all my fishing videos, this is definitely not a how-to. This is just a, a guy giving it a go. Right, landing net. Very optimistic. Got my priest. Um, and I will just have some forceps. Some garish flies there. I have got a washing line I've put on to the um, I've put on the rod already. Right, and let's see. I haven't cast this rod in a long time. Lovely. I haven't done voiceovers for my videos, but on this occasion, it's definitely needed. I arrived at the reservoir at half past seven in the morning and I fished and I fished and I fished pretty hard and I wasn't getting anywhere. There were hawthorns flying around um, there were daddy long legs, there was the occasional rise and really that's what I wanted to do was to get a fish on the dry on the top. Um, I did try nymphs and buzzards and uh, lures and various things and nothing was working for me. Um, and I'm putting that down to inexperience and also bad fly choice and 
as a fly fisherman, I'm going to say I didn't have the flies I needed. That's a bit of a cop out. So one of the times I did try a daddy long legs when there was a bit of a rise and this happened. Didn't like that. Right, it's voiceover Paul again. So I'd had a refusal on the daddies and I wasn't getting anywhere with any of the flies. Now, when I'd had a, uh, a little break earlier, uh, looking into the bushes as you do, um, I spotted a fly in the tree that some previous angler had lost. Now, bear in mind, I'd been through pretty much my entire fly box um, with what looked like hawthorn dries. They did not like my hawthorn uh, imitations, even though they're taking hawthorns on the water. Um, they didn't like my daddies. They didn't like any of my flies. So, <laughs> having spotted this uh, fly in the tree, that was it. I decided I was going to use a bit of local knowledge. So, I was off to that tree.
no. Don't say he's to, don't say he's taking the fly. He's taking the fly. Right. <laughs> so we're back to me looking all nice and chilled. Uh, this was early in the morning I filmed this uh, footage. So <laughs> I hooked into my first uh, trout, whether it's a rainbow or brownie, I don't know. Uh, but hit, hooked into my first fish and yeah, lost a fly. Um, weak tippet, whatever I'd done to it. The line snapped, bad knot, and I weakened the line, I think. So that was done. And so I carried on fishing, going through my flies, the hawthorns, the daddies, and buzzers. And I did have, uh, there was a moment of a rise, and I put on a daddy, and I cast to a showing fish. Now, unfortunately, I lost his footage, but it's not all bad. Um, I hooked into a fish which fought like fury, and then when I brought it to the net, it was a brown trout. Really nice brown trout but brown trouts go back. So I went home with no fish for dinner. So I learned a lot and I came home full of enthusiasm. It's crazy, the sport, but yeah, full of enthusiasm. And when I go back, which won't be too long, I am going to be more confident in the gear I've got. Um, instead of using the five weight rod, which is what I'm using here, I'm going to be using a seven weight rod new line that line was terrible it didn't really want to cast and a better selection a more comprehensive selection of flies so i feel more equipped so thanks for watching um <laughs> this is not a how-to video but yeah thank you for watching i appreciate it enjoy your fishing